Oh hi, I have a business meeting so I'm trying to learn as many vocabularies as possible but add it as a bit later. I have a question for you. When you are at a business meeting and the speaker is speaking way too fast in English, what do you do? Or perhaps there are new vocabularies that are being used at the business meeting. You can't bring out your phone all the time to use an online dictionary to check every word. Otherwise, you might lose focus of what's been said. So you understand a part and the other part you don't understand. So you understand and you don't understand. And then someone could ask you, do you understand everything? Do you understand what's been said? Of course, you need to be honest about your level of understanding. So you might do something like this, which means that I understand 50-50. Or I understand something about what's being said. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some great words you can use to show that you don't fully understand what's been said. You understand a part of what's been said. You understand something from what's been said. Don't go away. I'll be right back. This is your first time here. My name is Olani from Montito, bringing you great tips on how you can speak English effectively. One of the goals of this channel is to give power to you, is to give power to you through effective vocabularies that will help you make a change every time. Remember, one of the best ways to speak in English effectively is when you are able to make a change every time. Not by using the same vocabulary all the time, but by changing all the time. When you change your vocabulary, it shows you have confidence. It shows you have a wide range of vocabulary. It shows flavor. It shows change every time you're speaking. So one of the goals of this channel is to bring that change to you so that you are able to alternate your vocabulary every time. Hit the like button if you're learning just a little bit of English every time. You might also consider subscribing to the channel somewhere down here if you haven't done that already so you can stay notified of great videos like these that will help you take your English to the very top. Showing that you understand a part of what's been said, you can simply say partly, partly, which, which means that you understand a part of what's been said, you don't understand everything, but you understand a part of what's been said. So instead of saying, I understand partly, or I partly understand, you can simply say partly. You know, so you even ask the question, do you understand? You can simply say partly. Partly means a part of what's been said. You can also say partially. Please say with me everyone, partially. Partially also means partly. So you can simply say, well, um, I understand partially. Sometimes you still have difficulty to fully understand, but perhaps because the speaker is speaking very fast, or perhaps the speaker is using vocabularies that you don't know the meaning. So of course you might uh, struggle. Struggle means that you are having a hard time, you are having difficulty to understand something or to do something. So we can simply say struggle, struggle to uh, cope or to understand what's been said. So it simply means that you're struggling. Of course, you know, uh, even if you're fully concentrating, fully pay attention to, to what's been said, you might just be able to understand this much. So you can simply say, well, I understand not very much not very much. So someone could ask you, do you understand? You can simply say, well, not very much. Or you can simply say, not really. Not really. Please say with me, everyone, not really. You can simply say, roughly. Roughly. So someone uh, could have asked you, do you understand? You can simply say, well, roughly. Roughly. We can also use slightly. Slightly. Well, it means you don't understand a lot, but you understand just a little bit. So you can simply say slightly. You know, instead of saying I slightly understand, you can simply say slightly. Slightly. Or you can also say not quite. So you've been asked the question, do you understand? You can simply say uh, not quite. Remember your facial expression. Of course, if I was s responding to the question, I would not say, well, uh, not really. 
Not really, because I'm happy to say not really, of course, but it's super important to have a facial expression that says, well, you're not very happy that you don't understand what's been said. So you, you know, remember to use the right facial expression to communicate that you don't fully understand, which might be not really, not really. Well, uh, it's super important to have the right expression to communicate that you uh, don't really understand, you understand just these bits. The goal is to understand the general sense, even if you don't understand the specific details, you don't understand all the specific details and the vocabularies that's been used, or you're not bothered about the speed at which they're listening speaking, because sometimes when you're bothered about the speed or you're bothered about the new vocabulary, you know, you might be listening and you get to a new vocabulary and that's when you are in trouble, you stop and start thinking about the word. What does that word mean? And then you might lose focus of what's been said. So sometimes when you ignore the new word and just continue to listen, you might understand the general sense of what's been said. So you can simply say, well, I understand the general sense of it, or, I can, or you can also say, I understand what's been said on the whole. Please stay with me, everyone, on the whole. It simply means that you understand generally what's being said. Sometimes when you have a meal, you could finish that meal because you know the quantity is right and of course you're hungry as well, your appetite is right and of course you finish the entire meal. But sometimes you can find a meal that you really truly desire but you don't finish it but you are satisfied with what you've eaten. So sometimes when you are listening as well, you don't understand everything but you've been able to understand most of what's been said and that's a good thing because you're satisfied of course with what you've been able to understand you can give a perspective you can give an account of what's been said you can uh, share your knowledge with your colleagues and much more so in this case you can simply respond you know same question do you understand you can simply respond by saying well not completely not entirely, or you can also say not totally, which simply means that you've not been able to understand everything, but you understand most of what's been said, which means you know that you're good and you're happy about your level of understanding. Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. If you have questions about the video, can I leave them in the comment section? Remember to always alternate your vocabulary at a time and I'll see you at the next